let me show you one of the most closely guarded secrets about creating YouTube videos that just pop. And ever since I started doing this, my watch time here on YouTube is constantly higher. And also people started sharing my videos a lot more. And I got some interesting heartwarming comments from people because of it. We're talking about music, actual real copyrighted music that I sometimes use just to have it there in the background to get people to pay attention just a little bit more. And sometimes I use it for bigger stories, sort of to have people form an emotional connection with whatever's going on, ultimately with me, you know, as the creator talking about this bond between the creator and the audience that we always speak about. And if you thought it's impossible to use actual copyrighted music on your own YouTube channel without getting the monetary let me show you how and also why this might help get your YouTube channel off the ground a lot quicker and a lot easier. Now, as you might have guessed, can't see it right there, but coming from this, I'm a music person. Or not. And whenever I write a script, I always have certain songs and vibes in my head that I want my audience to go through. The issue that I always had, I just wasn't able to use these songs that I had in my mind. I tried it multiple times. Four seconds in, one short riff just to emphasize a point. Yeah, demonetize. What do you think? Which actually brings me to today's sponsor. And if you know me, I never take sponsorship deals. That's uh, you know, actually the first one in three years. But this one's actually pretty good because it's something I've used for quite a while myself. It's a service called Licked, which uh, actually helped me up my content quality here as well as a relationship with my audience, with you. And to be honest, this whole thing helped me with my overall channel strategy, trying to stick out from the rest of the crowd. A lot of people have wondered how I'm able to use chart music on my videos without getting copyright claims or getting demonetized, like at the start of this video, for example, or in this one. Burr 3000, a struggling musician who can't get his latest hit single hurt because he doesn't get any reach on his Instagram account, especially because he said, his stories two months ago. And obviously you just can't take a mainstream song, download it somewhere and throw it in your edits and just hit the publish button. Cause you'll get a copyright strike and that's just not how it works. And I believe your content actually might also be downranked once you get a strike. With Licked, however, you're able to basically take your channel to the next level with great music. There's over a million mainstream and stock tracks that you can choose from. Like from this video, The Offspring, George Ezra, Bruno Mars, and even Panic at the Disco. Where's the panic fans down there? Let me know. And you're gonna be able, like I do in my videos, to take people on a ride or emphasize a point and basically activate your viewers' emotions. See how that can change the scene or the impact, which uh, by the way, also leads to higher watch time. And if you know anything about the YouTube algorithm, watch time, of course, is one of the most important things to get more traction. I mean, just take a look at the video I did without popular music from Licked, and then with it, you know, just compare the retention graphs, especially at the beginning. And it's actually super simple to get started. All you gotta do is browse the catalog, choose the song you wanna license. There's actually lots of filters. You can find the right songs by mood, for example, even one to sort by Spotify popularity. And then you just gotta hit the checkout button and put your license in your description and voila, see the magic happen. Without the yellow dollar icon we all love so much on here, right? So all you gotta do is sign up to Lick with my link down there. You'll be able to get free 14 days access to their stock library. By the way, this is one of those songs that you can use. And the great thing, I've managed to get you 50% off your first chart music track to get your next video to the really pap. Pap, pop. Now, if you're one of those people who's still wondering whether you should actually start a YouTube channel, this video will actually open your eyes about the YouTube algorithm compared to the Instagram algorithm. Yeah, right there.